Twitter space going over kind of the regulatory perspective of what happened. Um, and so to me, that's, you know, personally very, very fascinating given that Ironfish is um, also working in the privacy space. Um, so I do highly encourage you to listen to that if it is recorded. And if so, I will post that. Um, but otherwise, happy Friday. We're kind of waiting for the Ironfish team members to trickle in as we get started. Hey, as we're, I'll just wait for like maybe three or two more minutes for people to trickle in. Um, but crypto is always eventful. <laughs> that's that's an understatement of the of the year. <laughs> On the bright side, a lot has happened. Oh, oops, there's a bit of an echo. Um, a lot has happened in the crypto, oh, sorry, in the Ironfish space. Um, and so we're super excited to kind of give you all the updates that have happened. Um, I think I'm actually going to get started. I think enough, enough people are kind of trickling in. Okay, so welcome to our monthly, weekly pulse on Ironfish. This is where we give updates on the protocol. Um, these updates are mostly technical. Um, uh, but I think we'll try to kind of in the future maybe lighten up a tiny bit. <laughs> um, but right now, Ironfish is obviously in its second testnet phase, and we're very acutely focused on making sure that the Ironfish experience is good. Um, and so a lot of the things that we're focusing are on optimization, making sure it's running smoothly, making sure that the deposits work. Um, and so we are actually actively building out more and more stats um, of how we monitor the health of the network. Um, so first, I would like to thank everyone who is participating in the Ironfish testnet. I cannot say that enough. Um, there are some vanity stats that I kind of want to that I want to uh, throw out. Um, so right now we have 50, 100 nodes online at the same time. Um, so you can check this at stats.ironfish.network. All these stats are available that I'm about to go through. Um, at its peak, we were roughly 11,000 nodes um, online in, in one uh, at one time. Um, and so the 11,000 number to me is really important because um, we've talked to um, a bunch of other people and it appears that that number put us in the largest testnet for a layer one project that we are aware of. Um, and to give you uh, a bit more perspective, you know, the entire Bitcoin network is roughly 15,000 nodes online. Um, Ethereum is roughly three to 4,000 nodes online. Um, so even though we dropped from 11,000 to the 5,800 number that we have today, um, it's still an incredibly large uh, test net. Um, and we're kind of aware as to why people have dropped off. Um, and the reason why people, people dropped off is kind of um, a symptom of our own success in a way. Um, so we have kind of noticed a degraded user experience as the chain started to grow. So roughly when we were 11,000 nodes, we also hit our all-time high of over 300,000 transactions per day. Um, and so this puts us, you know, I, you know, obviously this isn't this isn't uh, incentivized, uh, so I'm not trying to hide that fact. Um, but from purely kind of a scalability and stats purposes, um, you know, Bitcoin is roughly at that number. Uh, we're about quarter of transactions per day uh, for Ethereum. For instance, um, and if you look at you know Zcash, uh, Shula transactions, um, I think since Zcash has launched, um, they have they have had like roughly nine hundred thousand Shula transactions. Um, you know, and we we do that several days, so I think we have roughly fifteen million transactions uh, since we started uh, the second phase of Ironfish. So these are honestly really good numbers. Um, we have seen transaction number go off, um, so. The, these stats that I'm talking about now, you can find them at explore.ironfish.network slash charts. Um, so we're pretty transparent about how everything is going, so you can check it out yourself. Um, so we fell from like roughly 300,000 transactions to 180, and I think our average is 132. 
Um, and again, it's a bit of a symptom of our own success because as the chain started to grow, we have experienced some degraded experience. Um, and so a lot of the um, projects that we have been working on since have been highly focused on um, making sure that we are that our interest is stable, that we are focusing on optimization and performance. Um, and so internally, we have built a ton of a ton more stat, um, a ton more metrics or or dashboards to monitor exactly how the health of the node is doing. Um, and we are kind of like laser focused on making sure that um, things like memory is going down, that network band bandwidth is going down, and so on. Um, in terms of you know like uh, you know even though we're a privacy preserving protocol, we're very very transparent about exactly what is happening at Ironfish. Um, our roadmap, uh, we do update it um, quite frequently. You can check it out, ironfish.network slash roadmap. Um, so if people have questions about, you know, when are you guys launching mainnet, um, I would recommend you look at the roadmap first. It is it is a live document, so we do update it quite, quite often. And so, um, you know, we have kind of laid out all the necessary features that we want to work on before mainnet launch. Um, and so... If you want to get a more accurate kind of um, date or uh, time frame when we are going to mainnet launch, I would recommend looking at the roadmap because, again, we need to go through all their engineering tasks before we can actually do that. So with that, I do want to um, hand it off to some of our engineers who have done incredible, incredible features, especially this week. Um, or I guess this this this, this month um, that have targeted um, improving the degraded experience that we're um, kind of uh, experiencing as the chain is growing. Um, so first off, I am going to hand it off to Daniel, who has been working um, with Derek. Actually, he'll be speaking um, uh, a bit afterwards uh, on improving our peer-to-peer -peer gossip algorithm. So I'll let you, I'll let you take it away. Thanks, Elena. Yeah, so as Elena was saying before, we have had a huge number of transactions in the network, and anyone who's run a node in verbose mode sees just like the, the large number of transactions that the node is processing from peers at any given time. And so we undertook this big project to reduce that network usage by only sending transaction hashes to peers instead of full transactions. And we just released that in the latest release. <laughs> and looking at the telemetry numbers, it looks like that has reduced network usage for users on the new release by about 80%. So if you guys haven't updated to the newest version, I would definitely recommend that even on our nodes that we're hosting on AWS, we're seeing a lot more, the nodes are just running a lot more smoothly. And that's most likely due to just not having to process full transactions every time a peer sends them to you. So um, yeah, that was a culmination of a long project. And hopefully as more and more people update, we're about at 50% updated to the latest version. And we'll see that translate to the entire network instead of just upgraded nodes. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um, but yeah, that's what me and Derek have been working on and what we just released. So I think next. Sure. Oh, I, yeah. I do want to jump in a tiny bit before we move on. Um, so I don't know if you can share, but can you share a little bit about some of the bandwidth reduction that you're seeing with this new upgrade? If you look at, we're looking at telemetry from basically network usage for messages sent from a node. So if a node is on the new version, instead of sending full transactions to all of its peers, it'll send the transaction hash to the majority of the peers. And the hash is such a small percentage of the transaction itself. Uh, depending on the transaction, it could be anywhere from like 90% less to, I don't know, 95% less. So just replacing those messages is a big reduction in bandwidth. And then that also means that 
if you're receiving transactions, you don't receive the full transaction multiple times. You'll probably only receive the full transaction a few times, and the rest of them will be just transaction hashes. So that on the receiving end, that reduces bandwidth by a lot as well. Is there anything else you want to touch on, Elena, or you want me to touch on? No, I think that's good. I just wanted to, I don't know, do like a humble brag of um, how much this new feature is going to improve our networking. Um, and a lot of the kind of performance issues that we're seeing, a lot of it is due to our networking. And so like, I'm very, very uh, excited for this feature to be fully rolled out to our network. So please, please upgrade your nodes uh, because you are going to see a direct improvement. Um, so pretty excited about that. Um, cool. Yeah. And I think we can move on to our next speaker. We had, I'll just say one more thing on that. Like not just the network usage, but CPU usage of the node is also definitely going to be re reduced by that. Just not having to process the network transactions. That'll free up a lot of CPU. That's what we're seeing with our nodes too. So yeah, pretty exciting. Um, so next, I think Hugh is going to talk about the snapshot feature, which is also very exciting. This is the first time personally I've had my node synced in probably three weeks from this feature. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, we've been talking about all of these transitions on the network. One of the effects of that is that it, it can be very hard to keep late. Last week, we released new feature, a new CLI command will down a, a snap of the chain based uh, command is chain download. Uh, right now, it, uh, we're working on kind of publishing regular snapshots or publishing snapshots as a reg at a regular pace. Um, but there, there's a snapshot available uh, through that chain download command. Yeah, in case, I think you, maybe your audio is a little bit choppy, but um, in case anyone didn't hear that, there was, there is a new command to basically download a snapshot of the blockchain. And that command is chain download. 